Hi, in this package tracer activity, we will configure VLANs. On part one, we will verify the default VLAN configuration on this topology with three switch and some end devices on connected to switch two, some devices connected to switch three, and especially we have uh, an IP phone. On part 2, we will configure VLANs. On part 3, we will assign VLANs to port. As you know, VLANs are helpful in the administration of logical group, allowing members of group to be easily moved, changed, or added. The activity focuses on creating and naming VLANs and assigning access ports to specific VLAN. Now we will begin to part 1. View the default VLAN configuration. Now on S1, we will issue a command that display all VLANs configured. The, def the command is show VLAN brief. And I zoom it. You can see we have the default VLAN name default and VLAN ID is 1. And then we have some other VLAN, for example, 1, 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And its corresponding name. And all the ports belong to the VLAN default. On step 2, we will verify connectivity between PC on the same network. Now on PC1, I will ping to PC4 because uh, the two PC are the same uh, network. Firstly, I get the IP address of PC4 and then on PC1, I ping. You can see it's successful. When I ping from PC2 and to PC5, it also successful and do the same with PC3 to PC6 and it uh, result in successful. But when you ping from PC1 to PC5 or PC6, it's not successful because PC1, PC5 and PC6 are on are on the different subnets. The benefit VLAN provide to the network is the security and the easy to move, add or change or edit. Next, we will configure VLAN. Firstly, we will create the VLAN 10, 20, 30, 99, and 150 It's a voice VLAN. To configure VLAN, we use two commands. Firstly, the VLAN ID, and then the name of the, that VLAN. For example, on this one, to create the VLAN tag, I enter the configuration mode, and VLAN, and then the ID, and the name. Uh, to get the uh, point, we will name exactly. So I copy it and paste it. Sorry. And then enter. And you can do it yourself to create the remaining VLANs. 20 30, 99, and 150. So after creating VLANs on switch 1, now we will verify the VLAN configuration by using the command show VLAN brief or do show VLAN brief. The result is we have 5 new VLANs. Next, we will 
upgrade the VLANs on Suite 2 and Suite 3. So this job is uh, for you. You can do it yourself easily. Now on part 3, we will assign VLANs to ports. For example, on Suite 2, we will configure the interfaces uh, access port and assign the VLAN as follow. Uh, firstly, we will uh, enter the interface configuration mode. The FAT Ethernet 0 slot 11, this one. And then, uh, for uh, sorry, this one. This port uh, connect to PC1. It F. 0 slot 11 so I will uh, check it interface interface F0 slot 11 and then I shut out it yes uh, the port connect to PC1 is FA0 slot 11 and then I use no shutdown command to enter it up and to assign the, this port to the VLAN 10 I use a command uh, sweet port mode asset because the port that is connected to the end device should be asset port and then I add it to VLAN 10 by using the command shipboard asset VLAN 10 and I do the remaining ports to the appropriate VLAN uh, by uh, assigning them to uh, the corresponding or the appropriate VLAN by using uh, those uh, commands and after assigning VLANs to the active port on suite 2 I will verify it by using the command do show do, do show VLAN brief you see here, the port assigned to VLAN uh, already. Now you do the same on suite 3. And next, we will assign the voice VLAN to FAT Ethernet 0 slot 11 on suite 3. As you can see on screen, the IP phone is connected to FAT Ethernet 0 slot 11 on suite 3. And the IP phone also has another port connected to PC4. So this port must be configured to support user traffic to PC4 using VLAN 10. And this port also uh, support voice traffic to the IP phone using VLAN 150. This interface must also enable QoS and trust the class of service values assigned by the IP phone. Because IP voice traffic requires a minimum amount of throughput to support acceptable voice communication quality and we will use some commands to have the switch to provide this minimum amount of throughput you can see on port 11 we will use the command ml at qs trust codes and switch port voice vlan 150 so we enter the communication, uh, the uh, interface uh, configuration, and then 
we need to come MLS, POS to our COS and support voice VLAN and after that we will verify the configuration by using the command show do show VLAN brief So you can see the voice VLAN has uh, the port number 11. On step 4, we will verify the loss of connectivity. Oh, so previously, PCs that share the same network could ping to each other successfully. And now, we will ping again from PC1 to PC4. I get the IP address for PC4 and ping as you can see we get four request timeout reply so PC1 cannot communicate with PC4 it's the same uh, status happen when we ping from PC2 to PC5 and from PC3 to PC6 uh, and why so we will show the configuration show VLAN brief you can see on VLAN 1 we have gigabit zero slash one so this port this is a zero slash one it uh, links the, the, the port that connect to switch one now this port is belongs to VLAN one but PC one belongs to VLAN ten so the traffic cannot move from VLAN ten to VLAN one to solve this issue, we have to uh, config the chunk link between the three switches. So it uh, will be the uh, the job for the next activity. That is all for uh, our uh, guide. Thanks for watching.